Hello, my name is Sabina Sibila and I'm going to talk on the behalf of my college, Monica Bonilla del Rio and Barbara Castillo Abdul. This me, Sabina Sibila, about the impact of the MOOCs, conventional educational design. As an introduction, I would like to tell you that MOOCs are a new opportunity in the educational field because you can enroll from all over the place no matter where you are. The courses consist of short videos with content related to a specific topic, including practical exercises, automatic corrections, and feedback through questionnaires. During these years of study, it has been detected that the dropout of the courses is around 92-95%. Considering this factor as an indicator of educational inefficiency. That's, that is why resources that avoid monotony are necessary. The use of innovative educational strategy in the design of the courses is necessary. I would like to highlight some examples of innovative pedagogical models that allow improving the quality of the course. Firstly, the emphasize open and collaborative innovation. The multidisciplinary innovation and gamification. A case a study is carried out related to online training, specifically with the analysis from a qualitative approach of a selection of MOOCs. Six to be exact. The objective of this research is to know the characteristics of the video lesson that conform the MOOCs of the main platform. The criteria for the selection of this platform was their popularity and current relevance. The selection of the course was made through a search, a search using keywords related to the object of study, social science and digital communication. The sample is based in six cores from Miriada X, EdX, and ECO, e-learning, communication, open data, two cores from each. After the selection of the course, the analysis was carried out using as a tool for category the beginning of the video lesson and principle of engagement development of the video lesson, closing of the video lesson, and technical aspects such as audiovisual narrative support. With this criteria, um, we realize a content analysis. The main results based in characters of the analysis MOOCs are that the six MOOCs are examined require prior, prior registration on the corresponding platform for the students' enrollment in the course. All courses are free of charge, although some of the platform offer the possibility of getting a certificate of completion. At the beginning of the video lesson, we are concerned that the principle of engagement are not used as a strategy to, to capture the audience, the, atten the audience attention. At the development of video lexo, we didn't found resources such as humor, change of pace, or the introduction of unexpected element throughout the video lessons. At the end of video, we see some compilation resources to conclude the content presented in each MOOCs. 
To conclude, I would like to highlight that the design of the video lesson affects the level of engagement and that more innovative strategies could be used. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any question, do not hesitate to asking us. Thank you very much.